Okay, in today's video, we're going to go over a problem involving the work energy theorem, and that is that the net work is equal to the change in kinetic energy, and this is the problem that we have. Sitting bored in the cafeteria one day, little Susie decides she's going to try and start a food fight, get some action going. To do this, she's going to pick up her apple, has a mass of 110 grams, and she's going to throw it in the direction of her arch enemy, Joni. Now, I'm sure she's not trying to hit Joni, of course. And the apple, when she throws it, is accelerated from zero meters per second, when she's kind of holding it there, getting ready to throw it. And then, as she throws it and releases it, it has a velocity of 25 meters per second. And we would like to know, how much work did Susie do? How much work does Susie do on the apple? Now, you can see they want to know the work here. So, of course, you might just think, well, let's get out our work equation. The work is equal to the force times the distance times the cosine of theta. But there's one or maybe two problems. We were not given a force, and we were not given a distance over which that force was applied. Hmm, problem. We cannot use the work equation. But if you remember that the amount of work is equal to the change in kinetic energy, the work energy theorem, you'll notice that we have been given the mass, we've been given the velocity, so we can calculate the change in kinetic energy, because kinetic energy is obviously one half m, the mass times the velocity squared. So we can use that, and we know that the change in the kinetic energy is equal to the amount of work that is done, and we want work. So the kinetic energy, now all we really need to do here is calculate the final kinetic energy because we know the initial kinetic energy is zero. So that means because the velocity of the apple is initially at zero, and then it's accelerated to 25 meters per second. So if we calculate the final kinetic energy, which is 1 half m 0 0.110 kilograms, you have to convert the grams to kilograms, times the velocity squared. So we're going to square the 25 when we only square the 25. And we get that when she lets go of the apple, the kinetic energy of the apple is 34.3 joules. And we know from our work energy theorem that the change in kinetic energy is equal to the amount of work. So the amount of work she does on the apple when she accelerates it from 0 to 25 meters per second is also 34.3 joules of work. That is the work energy theorem. Work and energy are both measured in joules. So that's all there is to it. We couldn't use the work equation, but we could use the work energy theorem. We calculated the change in kinetic energy, the initial kinetic energy being zero because the velocity or the initial velocity was zero. The change in the kinetic energy from the final kinetic energy, 34.3 joules, and therefore that is how much work is done on the apple by Susie. Okay? That's all there is to it. Thank you very much for watching. I hope you found that video helpful. If you did, please give me a nice comment in the comment section below or a thumbs up, and we will see you in the next video. Thank you very much.